Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and welcome to another video recipe here at the Season Cook. Today I'm going to answer the question in this lesson of how to make a white pizza. Now I've already given you a video for making a pizza dough, which I have right here. That's a single batch of the pizza dough, the way I made it in the other video for you. So you take your pizza dough, whichever one you're using, mine or your own or whatever, and we're going to get it rolled out. I'm going to time elapse this for you a little bit so that you don't have to sit here and watch me rolling pizza dough off for five minutes. So I'll be back in a couple minutes when I got this rolled out. All right, I got it rolled out. And as you can see, it's ready to go. I have a perforated pizza pan here I'm using. And all the talk about <clears throat> whether this should be cooked on a stone in the oven or whether there should be bricks or whether there should be perforated holes in the pizza pan or whether it should be a regular flat pizza pan. They, they all make sense and a good pizza can be made on all of them. Okay, so I'm going to crimp the edges of this one a little bit real quick and uh, let me time elapse this so you don't have to watch me do this all day too. All right, I got her all crimped up here around the edges. A little uh, liquid barrier. So we're going to put the white pizza sauce on that I made, which I made a video for you of this. It's called white pizza sauce. And we're going to spread this around real quick on here. Again, I love using Alfredo sauce for this or clam sauce, two of my favorites for making white pizza. But all in all, I mean, as much as I like white pizza, the, the red pizza is my favorite as far as pizzas go. Let's get another little shot in here. And I have a bunch of different veg vegetables today. And one of the one, one of the veg that I have, which I really like, um, is the slow oven dried slash roasted fresh tomatoes. Okay, we got enough sauce there. I got some artichoke. I got some dried sliced shiitake mushrooms that I reconstituted. And you have a video that I gave you for how to reconstitute dried mushrooms. And I got artichokes. Let's throw a few chokes on here. This is a nice sized pizza here. And I have some Kalamata olives, which I love. I'll throw a few of those on there. Be careful you don't overload your pizza with too many ingredients now. And we got a little bit of green pepper here. Raw. Could you use cooked? Yes, you could. Depends what you want that texture and taste to be like on the final pizza there. Okay, and now I have these absolutely delicious roasted tomatoes. Now I could tear them up or I could throw them on there a little bit whole. Like so. Boom. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of fresh uh, dried mozz, and I want to remind you that just about every pizza that you want to make, you can use dried mozz or fresh mozz on the pizza. I'm cooking this at the highest temperature that my home oven will cook at, which is 550. But I don't want to overkill the mozzarella either. And I think that's enough to get us going. And I want to put a little bit of pepper on there. And I'm going to put a pinch of salt on here. Now, could I put some Parmesan cheese on it? Yes, I could. I'm going to put a little bit of dried oregano on here. Just because I like it. 
And I'm going to put a, a little squeeze of olive oil on here. Like so. This pizza is ready to go in the oven, which is where it's going right now. I'm putting it in the top rack of the oven at 550. So we'll be back when it's done. 20 minutes, 25 minutes, just give or take. All right, so looks good. Got a little bit of crispiness to it. Let's see how that looks underneath. And it's got a little brown on there. You can, I can tell it's crispy when I cut it because it crunches. So there you go, white pizza. But I'm not here to tell you how to make your pizza. I'm just showing you how I made one. And there's hundreds of versions of this out there for you to make. So enjoy your white pizza when you get around to it. Thank you.